Next up, though, we're going to show you a storm brewing in the Chicago area. A storm brewing inside a house. All thanks to a young weather wizard named Kyle Swartz, who can call up a tornado just whenever he really feels like it, thanks to an amazing machine. Most people would do anything to stay out of the path of a tornado, but not Kyle Swartz. He's got one in his garage. This is a seven and a half foot tall tornado. It may be a scaled down version, but Kyle's dead serious about tornadoes. Creating one in his garage is his way of studying their formation and habits. It's an ingenious setup. We have four columns each, and each one contains three inflow fans to provide inflow to go into the center circulation, and that is pulled up by what's called an updraft fan. Kyle carefully sets the fan column's angles and adjusts their speed. Here we go with the dry ice. And now we will be visualizing the tornado. In nature, we can see tornadoes because of lightning, swirling dust and debris, and condensation in the storm cloud. In his garage, Kyle submerges dry ice in very hot water. The special name for simulating this process is called air convergence. Tighter air convergence, a more uh, smaller diameter tornado, but much more intense uh, rotational wind speed, which makes it dangerous in the area near the bottom corner region. Kyle takes careful measure of his tornado to get an idea of its power, relatively speaking. The wind speeds I clocked were about 40 kilometers per hour, so a pretty intense wind speed under uh, these settings that we have on now. That's only a fraction of the speed of a natural tornado, but the goal here is to create an accurate model of the real thing. Uh, real tornadoes, uh, this garage would be completely destroyed, obviously. Kyle's tornado machine was originally born as a science fair project. The way it started out was just a simple drawing at my desk uh, just over the summer uh, a year ago. But impressive as it looks, a simple tornado in his garage is not enough. Kyle's after something more ambitious, a multiple vortex tornado. What's most important is simulating what's called multiple vortices by lowering the updraft speed at a lower speed setting while increasing the inflow fans at higher speed levels. Multiple vortex tornadoes are a rare phenomenon. They're caused when the airflow entering the storm overwhelms the updraft in its center. The pressure drops and air falls down through the funnel, bursting its walls and giving birth to several deadly mini twisters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will be setting the conditions to form multiple vortices, the ultimate investigation of this project. Kyle has the recipe for vortex breakdown worked out in advance. It's a matter of changing something called the swirl ratio. And now we will just be lowering the updraft fan to a lower speed setting so as to apply the swirl ratio. And now I'll be increasing the speed of each of these inflow fans to go along with the parameter of the swirl ratio over the updraft speed. Highest speed is 22 kilometers per hour. And here we go. And now the dry ice. See, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can see within the cloud that we do have multiple vortices. Uh, very briefly, Kyle's tornado model allows him to create formulas so he can take info from real storms and forecast the results under different conditions. With better forecasts, lives can be saved. It's a dangerous tornado. We are really close. Do we see the measurements that take place as these changes happen? We have a major tornado coming down. This is a huge deal in capturing and applying to our, our advances in radar systems to detect these specific changes that take place. Wait, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Further advance our warning time. The refloating. For Kyle, the tornado in his garage is just the beginning. I plan for the future to improve on the designs of tornado machines to replicate as realistically as possible the real-life conditions that go on in actual storms. That's a pretty impressive spin for a project just getting off the ground.